Jay, a little bit uh, hot for football weather right now, but we're just over a month away from the start of the high school football season right here in Northwest Ohio. Now, one of our area teams might once again have some big issues with home games because there's a cone marking off a big problem. I team reporter Sean Hegarty showing you the issues still plaguing the field of Bowser High School in Toledo. Sean. Yeah, and Diane, some of the players are out here right now working on part of the field because if they get to the 32-yard line, they're going to encounter a very unique defender, something that has made the home schedule here at Bowser messy. Surrounded by hurdles from the track sits a singular cone on the 32-yard line at Bowser High School's football stadium. It looks a lot like the hole did last September when the I-team first told you about it, only now it's not surrounded by the soccer net anymore, it's the hurdles. So why hasn't this issue been corrected yet? We asked the question, but don't have a whole lot of answers yet. A Toledo Public Schools spokeswoman told us Monday the sinkhole is still an issue. We're told contractor Rudolph Libby that addressed the problem last year is once again planning to explore the issue and determine a cause. We're told that study will begin next Monday. The field issue came up at a Toledo Public School Board committee meeting in June. At the Arts, Athletics and Student Activities Committee meeting, Deputy Superintendent James Gann told the board the ground was scoped and inspection has been completed. He'd advise the committee as they obtain updates, which includes updates to families and players who once again may have a season without a home. Last year, the Blue Racers had to look for new places for those home games. And it is not just football, it might be hard a little to see from back here, but there are yellow lines on the field which are for the soccer team. So not only will football have to find some new homes, but also soccer as well if this is not corrected. Once again, Toledo Public Schools said that inspection is supposed to happen next week. So we'll keep you updated as this continues to develop and as the hole continues to sit in the middle of the field there, Diane.